gym as you see guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap your hands as a professional boxer. My boy, my guy. He's gonna show you guys he's one of the best hand wrappers in the game and he's gonna show you guys how to wrap hands, right? Yeah, let's go, let's go. She call out, put her on black list. I call that options. They can support it, get dropped quick. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are cool. Hey, who you talking start off doing the wrist. You gotta secure the wrist because that's where your pinpoint of your shots are gonna be and uh, a lot of the impact's gonna be at the wrist. So uh, you wanna protect the wrist first. You wanna go around the hands. Uh, this is just a basic setup of the wraps, which we'll slow it down and we'll start taking it step by step. But for now, you're just gonna watch and see how we start off with the base. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Now enjoy some video of me boxing while we do some promo for DraftKings. Yo guys, UFC 266 is coming fast and DraftKings Sportsbook is going to be right there. The official betting partner of the UFC and they're going to be right there for all your betting needs. They got a great offer for new customers this coming weekend. That's right, bet $1 on any UFC 266 fight and receive $150 in free bets. Instant. It's all good if you're not an MMA fan. DraftKings Sportsbook offers great betting odds for golf, football, and so much more. Best part is you could deposit, withdraw your cash anytime you want. DraftKings is safe secure and reliable, join DraftKings Sportsbook right now. Use promo code Garcia when signing up to receive that offer. All the info you need to know is in the link in the description below, so go check it out. Now back to the video. So he's starting it off with uh, the base, you see, with the base of tape, uh, and that's just to secure the wrist even more. This is the most important part of the day in training, I would say, is wrapping your hands, because if your hands don't work, how are you gonna box? You know. The difference between the gauze, why he's putting gauze and tape, is because the gauze is there to create like a strong base of it, and the tape is to lock it down. So you know, it just makes you feel secure and uh, just tight and ready to knock somebody out. Really, the tape really gives you that effect of strength. Now he's adding a layer of protection for my knuckles. We're using Skoltech hand gel, and that's to protect your knuckles on impact. We're starting off by putting it on the, on the hand and then folding it and putting a, a soft gauze over it. You wanna go between the fingers. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. okay. As we go between the fingers, it's okay. to secure it uh, and make it tight. Okay. Yes, you want a good grip and that's what the between the fingers are doing. I like to use gel better than I do uh, gauze because it's just much more helpful for my knuckles and uh, better protection. You know, it could take the impact better and uh, overall it's just better to use, in my opinion. Wrapping your hands is just, it differs a little bit between a real fight, professional fight, and then training. You could do stuff here that you can't do in a real fight. Uh, you could double stack it with tape. Uh, you could do pretty much anything you, you want, except, you know, I wouldn't be putting, you know, illegal stuff in your wraps. But, like, you know, the way you wrap it, you could do it pretty much any way you want to, as long as it's not really cheating. But in a real fight, they're much more strict on the, the amount of tape you use and how you use your tape. Different rules for each organization, like the Nevada State Commission and then the California State Commission. Okay. Yes. So they're all different, you know, in their own in their own way. Tip one: You want to make sure that you get used to wrapping your hands every time. A lot of people like to just go right into it and start you know, hitting bags and stuff, but uh, you definitely need to learn how to protect your hands and to wrap them every single time. You could wrap your hands yourself, or if you have a trainer, have him obviously wrap your hands. And uh, good. just keep on getting even better in wrapping your hands. I used to wrap my hands myself, you know, back in the day before I was a professional boxer. As an amateur, I kept wrapping my hands every day, so you gotta learn how to do this stuff. It's important. 
now that I'm done wrapping my hands, I'm gonna show you guys what else I bring. You know, my essentials for boxing. Uh, obviously have my gloves that I use. Uh, no boxing, no life right here. The best gloves in the game. This is my coach's brand for boxing gloves. They just represent that, you know, without boxing, it's pretty much a, it's a lifestyle. No boxing, no life. I spar usually with 14 ounce gloves, but I train with eight because I like to really feel the impact of the punch. Because when I'm fighting, I fight with eight ounce and I like to really know how my, my, my fists land when I hit the shot. So that's why I wear eight. I also got my shoes that I use right here. I usually use Nike Hyper KOs because they're the best in uh, how they feel. They're light and they cover your ankle. You just move around a little bit better than you would uh, with just a regular trainer shoe. These are definitely made for boxing, so you definitely feel the difference. So you want to get yourself some boxing shoes. And then I got my weighted gloves. They're called Power Hands. Shout out Power Hands. They're, they're something that I've been using for a while now. They just help with uh, muscle memory and they help with speed because the more you use these, the more your punches come out and then the faster they come out because you're using, you're using weighted gloves. I use these shadow boxing every morning. These are probably one to two pounds. They're the best to use, trust me. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go get into my training session. So thank you guys for uh, just going along with uh, my essentials. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more of me and my training and so much other things. Thank you guys so much for supporting. God bless.